Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when I feel like it o'clock. I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. I don't know why I just did it like that. That was like super cheesy. B-Pow Picks Edition, where I give you picks daily, like every day I give you picks. Well, except five days a week, actually. Sometimes six, when I'm feeling like it. But I give you all the picks in the land. I give you the totals and the lines for every game, every day. And on my Patreon, I, I give an analysis and everything. And when things change, like goaltenders change and stuff, I change it up and do different stuff. And yeah, you get a lot of information over there. You might want to check it out. It's free. It's free for a month. So just tell me in the comment section or go into the description. I, I write some pretty cool stuff in that description too. You might want to check it out. I would if I were you because I worked really hard at it. And uh, make sure, hit, oh, I got letters. Also, if you hit the subscribe button, Helen's been working all day, knitting and sewing the Pearls of Wisdom necklaces up for you guys. So hit that subscribe. Get yourself one. Pearlocopter right to your door. Right to your door. Pearlocopter. Helen, or sorry, not Helen. No, Helen can't drive the Pearlocopter. Uh, the, uh, that's Fernandez and Melissa that do that. She doesn't do everything. Anyways, I'm going to be giving you quick picks here right away. Quick picks. But first, I got a letter. Fakir El Feke. Fakir? Fakir El Feke. It's a funny name. It's from Yemen. It's from Dilbon, Dil oh, Shibon, Shibon, Yemen. I hope I didn't ruin that. And uh, Fakir asks, um, what time is your show and when can I watch it in Yemen? And uh, they have internet now. You can check that out, what time the show. It's 3 to 5 Eastern time in Canada, in the United States, Eastern time. So I'm going to do all the work for you. Although thanks for the letter. We love your letters. Send them to us. Uh, Guido goes down every day to the mailroom and he comes up with the sack of letters and he pours them all over the letter table and we all do the Perlo dance. Letters, letters. And we love it. We love it. Do it. Do the letters. Uh, HNR in the comment section, and you can talk in the comment section. I will talk to you. He said, who's excited for the Perlo show all this week? And I was like, I am. I sure am, and I know everybody in the land is too. Three to five, we do picks like this, and you you get fi fabulous prizes, and we talk about all the, the goings on in the NHL, and it's interactive. It, I have guests, and it's fun. Okay, here's my picks. Oh, I got to make sure first five minutes, right? Because for all you hurry people, all you guys in a, in a in all the flutter. I like flutter actually. Be get your flutter on. Get your flutter on. It's a good idea. Get up in the morning, get your flutter on. Okay, here we go. No judging. Bruins in reg under five and a half. Panthers in reg over five and a half. I almost couldn't spell my own writing. I couldn't spell my own writing. <laughs> I'm completely sober, really. Um, Capitals ML under six. Lightning in regulation over five and a half. Canadians ML over, yeah, under six. I just changed it right now, under six. I'll tell you about why, because I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be telling everybody about the why I made the picks. We're going to do our picks for this evening, which is now the 29th. Yes. For this evening, we're going to do those picks. We're going to show what we did, how we did. We're doing pretty good. Pretty darn good. And uh, then I'm going to tell you about uh, an in-depth analysis. Hurricanes, ML, over five and a half. And Predators, 
ml over five and a half. I'm a little shaky on that one too, but we'll talk about that in a bit. Okay, guys, thanks for the letters. Thanks for hitting the subscribe, like right now, like that, like that. You know, just touch it, just touch it. It makes you feel good on your insides. Hit the subscribe there, watch it, just get all giggly inside. Okay, let's go to our picks. I'm watching the game here at the time. Winnipeg's up 3-1. I got the under and Winnipeg in this game, so. Uh, which we're going to vote to talk about, so I don't even need to tell you that. These scores right now. We have... Avalanche over Ducks. This was our pick of the day. If you're a Patreon member, you get one of these every day. A pick of the day. Our best pick. We just started doing them a little while ago. I believe we're 3-1-1 one, one now. Um, put, we put large pearls on this. Avalanche PL. It looks like it's going to come through. Look at this. Outshot them 42-14. to 14. There was no way they weren't going to ruin this game. It actually should have been worse. Miller was just getting barraged. Uh, and we also had the over for large pearls. So we st we're starting out pretty huge here. Like pick of the day, we might as well go five pearls, right? So that's, it was one eight, it was 80 times five is four, four, four units. And probably three on the over, which was about, I think the same thing. So five six six and a half units somewhere around there uh, i haven't even watched this game yet jeez it's already in the second period i got golden knights and reg in the over here i was a little shady on the over though uh, i didn't really i think it was for small pearls but i do have golden knights in regulation uh i can't remember what i bet on that um here i'll show you eh, it should be my last one i did Did I not post that? That didn't go through. Wow. Are you kidding me? No, let me try that again. Let me refresh this. Published. Oh, here we are. Golden Knights over Kings in Rag for medium for two pearls and one pearl over. Yeah, just one pearl over. See, I do that. And then I give you an overview. Did uh, Let's view this. Did I give you this? Oh, I didn't give you an overview on that one. Uh, but I usually write a uh, big thing on each game. And I tell why I think that I like these things. The Wild are a better team here for... From every perspective, really, they are not tired. They are driven by standings. The thing I forgot about this is they had three days off, and they were going to be a little sluggish, sluggish in the first. I so, but whatever. That's that's what you get. Okay, back to the picks. Back to the picks. Okay, this one, like I just told you, we have the Jets ML and the under. Not for big pearls, but <gasps> look at the Wild scored. 2-1. Sharks were out playing them in the first, and I expected that because they were going to be a little bit sluggish. Uh, put, didn't put enough emphasis on it, but we have the over here, and it's 2-1 in the first. So over and wild for large, both for large. We could be way up today. Guess what we had for the Sabres, boys and girls? We had the Sabres PL. Sabres PL. And we had the under. So we were actually down a, like a, a quarter of a pearl. Like you could barely see it. Just barely. And then we had the uh, under in this game. And we also had the Islanders. So again, we're down just a little tiny pearl. Because we it was only for small. I didn't go heavy on these games. I was really unsure. I had Oilers, PL. And the under here, though. So we're up. That pretty much breaks us even on all of these here. That broke us even on those. So when we got that for that and we got that, we're going to be like way up today. 
way up. Huge. Didn't do so good on tennis today. I think I was one for two, which is rare. I just went on an eight and two run. So now I'm like nine and four. Not too shabby though, right? Not too shabby. So we'll see what happens with those. I'm going to give you now, we're going to go to our favorite part, favorite time in the land, right? The picks for tomorrow. Yay, picks for tomorrow. Okay. Yay. Everybody, Perla dance with me. Hockey News reports. Oh my gosh, you've been practicing, my friend. I can tell HNR is going off on the Perlo dance. Slow down, buddy. Slow down. Don't. It's like just before bedtime, you're going to get yourself all in a tither and not be able to sleep. Good. The goat. The goat wants to. Look at the goat. The goat, John from Off the Wall Hockey, he does amazing play by play. He wants to. He's sitting there like just pretending. Look, he's all red in the face. But he wants to. You want to, John. You want to. You know you do. Okay. Tuesday, uh, March 30th is what we're doing. New Jersey versus Boston. I'm actually kind of conflicted about this game. I'm going to want to know... A little more about the injury situation here. Is Marshawn going to be okay? Where is my injury report here? Um, I looked it up. I'm going to refresh it one more time because I don't want to give you false information. Ooh, look at that. Buffalo Dylan Cousins is out again. Oh, uh, Boston. No, Marshawn's still out. Tuka Rask, possible? He won't be available. How about Brandon Carlo? Could it could it be? Oh, Carlo could be back. That's huge. That's huge. I like that. Uh, New Jersey Devils. This is uh, NBC. I, I just I just I, it's all nice and sparkly. I like it. Uh, Nico Heischer will not be back. Okay, so I can't see Boston losing to New Jersey two in a row. I did pick New Jersey last time though, didn't I? Um, I am tempted, however, to PL New Jersey here. I'm tempted. And I may, when I wake up in the morning, look at, you're getting 165. Eh. Now let's money line Boston. I, I'm not going over money line. I know you're not getting much. Oh, I, I did put in reg. I gave everybody in reg. Okay, we'll do in reg. What the heck? Under five and a half. I just don't think there's going to be enough scoring. Blackwood hopefully will be in net here. Again, if you have the Patreon, uh, I can tell you when Wedge, if Wedgwood's going to be in. I may change my mind on that. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be Blackwood. Florida versus Detroit. Now, Detroit, the question is, are they playing really well? Or did they just play a really bad Columbus team? Uh, I think teams have been taking them for granted. Now, we know with Florida... Mr. Ekblad, Aaron Ekblad had that terrible leg injury. I don't think that's going to affect him too much, though. And I honestly just think Florida is on a rampage right now. I think they're going to win this. I'm going to say in reg. I'm not going to go PL in on this. Grice should be in for... Maybe they'll keep on going with Pickard because he looked... Columbus made him look good. And even if then, maybe I might PL it because Pickard is not a good goaltender. I don't care how good Columbus made him look like for two games. He's not a good goaltender. So, oh, did they just score? No. Okay. Sorry. Watching the Calgary game. Um, Washington versus the Rangers. I really thought about the Rangers here, but I can't. I don't think I can. Shesterkin is in net. Samsonov should be in net. If they go with, if Washington goes with Vanacek here, I just may go the Rangers. I just may. I'm not super strong on this game though. I'm I'm gonna go money line for sure. Probably take Washington. Washington getting 195 on the is pretty huge value. Uh, I'm probably gonna go Washington, but I'm not gonna go large. I just the Rangers you know, came back at them in the third. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Because Washington scares me sometimes a lot. 
especially when they play against teams like this. So, oh, geez, my under doesn't look like it's going to work in the Winnipeg. It's 4-1. Uh, Tampa Bay versus Columbus. I'm taking Lightning. I got him in reg. Do I want to go in reg here? I think I want to PL that. Right now, I have it in reg and over five and a half. I, I can't see Columbus all of a sudden turning it around and having some cohesion or heart or anything like that. I, I just can't see it happening. Um, yeah, I just can't see it happening. So I'm going to go Tampa to turn things around a little bit. They haven't been running on all cylinders here, but they this, this game, they got to win, right? They got to win that game. Edmonton, Montreal. Right now I have the Canadians winning this because Edmonton's on a back-to-back -back after playing a really tough game against Tampa. But here's the thing. Montreal hasn't played in a long time. It, I would say a really good thing here would be under one and a half the first period because the Oilers will probably need to get their legs going too. Montreal is going to be out of sync. Um the problem is it's going to be Corpus Salo and Price. That's why I'm a little unsure about this game. Price hasn't had a great year. Corpus Salo is not a great goaltender. But they're not going to get many shots. So uh, I don't think they're going to get many shots because I think both teams are going to be all whacked. There's going to be a lot of neutral low zone play. Puck's not getting on the sticks. Uh, Edmonton will probably come out hard in the first period and Montreal will hold them off. So... As of right now, I got Montreal ML, but I'm really going to have to do some ohms on this one. I'm going to have to get my chakras right aligned here for that one. Uh, and uh, maybe I'll change my mind. But right now, I got Montreal ML. And I got over six, really? I put over six? Uh, that may change, too. I, I got over six because Corpus Allo and Price are playing, but I'm not sure they're going to get enough... Shots to get over six. Tough call. Tough game. Uh, I think I'm going to change that to under. Chicago, Carolina. I'm taking Hurricanes ML. I just think Chicago's getting tired. Those young kids that they have, they're great. But um, uh, they're getting tired. The thing about Chicago is they have so many high percentage shooters. That they can get out shot and still win a game. I hope Carolina goes with Nedeljkovic here, not Reimer. Nedeljkovic is the better goaltender. So I'm going with Carolina, but I'm only going to ML right now until I find out who the goaltenders are. If Nedeljkovic is in net, I'm probably going to ML this. And as far as the over-under, Lankinen could be in net. I mean, you could go all over the place on this. What do I have? I got over five and a half right now. I think that's with Reimer in, but I'm not big on the total. Predators, ML, over five and a half over Dallas. This is just simply based on the fact that Nashville is has an energy that's amazing right now. And I find Dallas is playing really tight in the stick. They need to loosen up and... Uh, um, they need to loosen up. They're playing way too tight. Um, also, I think I think it's going to be Hudobin and Rene. So Hudobin has been has been really voodoo this year, and Rene did has been playing actually fairly well. Um, that's why I'm leaning Nashville, and I'm kind of leaning the over because Hudobin's had a chance to poop the bed quite a bit. Um, so it's going to be very interesting, for sure. Uh, great card. Uh, if you want my best pick, go over to the Patreon app. I'll put the link in the bio. Go hit it, or description. Hit it. If you don't know how to do that, it's just where it's just below the thing. Just message me down there. I'll send it to you. You get a free month, um, which I'll reimburse you now, and then I'll reimburse you at the end of when the month starts again because it's already the end of this month. And you can try it out. If you don't like it, throw it away. Just say, I don't want you, Perlo. Just get out of my face. Go, go, go with you. Do that. Just like that, do that. Come on, do it. 
Okay, where are we here? It's time to go. It's time to go, boys and girls. I will see you tomorrow, and we are going to have frolic. There will be so much frolic. So you go frolic for the rest of the day. Take this frolic and spread it into the land. Have a great day, everybody. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.